breaking news tonight. We've learned that former Maryland governor and Baltimore City Mayor William Donald Schaefer has died. William Donald Schaefer has been a Maryland legacy for decades, and tonight we say goodbye to William Donald Schaefer. And uh, you may have your own politics at hand in your own home here tonight, but this man was a do it now man. He loved being mayor of Baltimore. That was his number one job. He loved taking care of Baltimore, whether we had the trash on the streets or whether we weren't being nice to one another. And uh, he was mayor for 15 years. Yeah. And just recently, the last couple of weeks, we reported that he'd been taken to the hospital suffering from pneumonia. I mean, he was 89. He'd be 90 in November. And at that age, pneumonia can be very deadly. Well, back in 1950 and 54, he ran unsuccessfully for the House of Delegates, and that would be the only election he'd lose until he ran again for Comptroller against Peter Francho in the primary. Um, he was House of Delegates. He tried for that. He didn't do it. Then he ran for City Council. He won. Then he became the City Council President. Then he became Mayor. And he succeeded Tommy DeLisandro, and he learned a lot from Mayor uh, Tommy DeLisandro. And then Du Burns became the, the f uh, first African American mayor, succeeding William Donald Schaefer, who then went on to become the governor. And he was known for his very, very feisty disposition. Even one of the things that a close friend said about him when he was taken from the hospital was that he had returned to his feisty self, and that was always a good sign. Oh, he was feisty, man. You'd, you'd run into him, and he, you know, I remember outside, I, I was at the, uh, in Hagerstown, I was outside a hotel, and we had to interview Willie Don for something. I interviewed him, and he, he responded, and he went inside, and he chastised me for five minutes up in front of everybody. That's the kind of guy he was. A man that we're going to remember for the next few days, I'd say. William Donald Schaefer, dead at the age of 89. He was born November the 2nd, 1921, to the son of William and Tulalu Schaefer. Educated in Baltimore's public schools, William Donald Schaefer got his degree from the University of Baltimore School of Law. Schaefer joined the United States Army during World War II and stayed in the reserves until 1979 when he retired as a colonel. After the war, the mayor-to-be started a law firm and ran for Maryland's House of Delegates. He tried twice and lost both times. That would never happen again for 47 years. Once the young lawyer won a seat on the city council in 1955, Baltimore was never the same. I had uh, not been involved in politics, never doing about politics, until I went to the city council. And I learned uh, about my district, and then I got interested in the entire city. Schaefer eventually became city council president in 1967 and mayor four years later. He loved that job holding it for 15 years. When I became mayor, uh, the city was ready. Uh, the city had had a very difficult time. Uh, the problems were, were mounting. They had lost faith in themselves. The pride had gone. And they were ready for a change. So I told them, you live in a great city. Schaefer reshaped Baltimore. The colorful and outspoken mayor made headlines with his attention to detail. Do it now attitude. The rebirth of the Inner Harbor. But Schaefer was prouder of something else. The real legacy is when we saved the neighborhoods. The Inner Harbor came after our working with the neighborhoods, building back pride in the neighborhoods, getting community leaders to work with us. No one will forget his costume news conferences where he looked like he was having more fun than anyone else, or his swim in the National Aquarium seal pool, paying off a bet that it would not open on time. But there were terrifying and sad days. Get back! Get back! As reporters and police arrived in force, the victims came out of City Hall. In 1976, a gunman, angry about an eviction, burst into City Hall looking for the mayor. He killed a city councilman and wounded three other people. Schaefer was out of his office when it happened. And then in 1984, Schaefer was the face of the city's pain as the Baltimore Colts left for Indianapolis in the middle of a snowy night. The Colts had to sneak out of town at night. It degrades a great tradition of the city in football. Thirteen years later, he welcomed the Cleveland Browns to Baltimore as they became the new NFL Ravens. Schaefer became governor in 1986, grabbing 82 percent of the popular vote. He was easily re-elected in 1990. Governor Schaefer left public office after his second term, but not for long when longtime friend and state comptroller Louis L. Goldstein suddenly died in 1998. Schaefer ran for the job and voters welcomed him back. But controversy followed him in that office as he feuded with then governor Paris Glenn Denning. You've got a wonderful Good. tie on today. Thank you. And you need a haircut. Schaefer also raised eyebrows when he endorsed Republican George Bush instead of fellow Democrat Bill Clinton and criticized immigrants who could not speak English. Political analysts say that contributed to his primary loss in 2006, sending Schaefer back to public life. 
Schaefer never married, but had a longtime companion in Hilda May Snoops. She was Schaefer's official hostess in the governor's mansion and died in 1999 at the age of 74. William Donald Schaefer's life was dedicated to public service, and he once told us that he had no regrets, but he hoped that people would remember him this way. I really mean this. On my tombstone, on my tombstone, I want the words, he cared. That means a lot to me because I did, and I do. I care about the poor. Uh, I've seen the poor people on the streets. I've seen drunks and drug addicts. I've seen elderly, older citizens who are so afraid that they're so insecure. I worry about them. Those things really affect me. Now, people laugh at me and they, th they think that's, that's politics. I've tried to build housing. I've tried to help the elderly. And that's all. That's what I would like really to be known as. He cared. have more on the former governor's life and legacy tonight on ABC 2 News at 11 o'clock. Right now we're going to send you back to your regularly scheduled program.